I'm gonna hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio skulls all day, all day. The lyrics are just for us. Man, let me tell you something. Oh my god! If you start this fucking off with fucking some wild shit, some shit that you know I'm not going to approve of starting the show off with. Well, let me tell you something, Jerry. Oh there, 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 there's a lot to talk about. We've already started it. There's a lot to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 229th episode of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast, featuring Jared Lee and RJ. All right, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> um, but, but what I was going to say is, do you know what is really emotional? Do you? Me, yes. For for a while, several days, I was very emotional. You probably would have no, yelled at me. No, not just several days. Your fucking entire life. Okay. I am emotional. I am an emotional, emotional man. And do you know what gets my emotions going, Jared? Gets my blood flowing? What really grinds your gears? What really grinds my gears uh, is how incredible X-Men it was this oh, past thank week. God. I thought you were going to fucking start. Don't off. you worry, Jared. <laughs> Don't you worry. All right. Now you can get your fucking close up again. Oh, there we go. Here, here. <laughs> Put the camera on me. Hi, folks. We are back live here on Twitch uh, with another exciting episode of the podcast. But I was able to consume uh, quite a bit of television in uh, the span of a day and a half as, as much as I possibly sir, could. Sir, we discussed how much you had to watch, and two hours and 40 minutes is not shit. It was a lot because I watched three shows. Okay. So, so. It wasn't a lot. It's not a lot. Trust me, bro. Everything that came out this week, I already watched. And, get, and then some. Great. You, yes, I'm at home all day because I work from home. However, you be making up excuses for why you can't do shit. When there's, so you've already watched all eight episodes of Fallout? Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> it's not hard. Well, it's. I'm not saying it's difficult, but I don't know. I've. I've so I've got... Three episodes in with that. So. And and I watched both seasons of Invincible. What the fuck, Jared? <laughs> See, you're not normal, man. Yeah, you're not normal. I'm over I, here. I, I barely sleep, to be honest. Yeah, well, and the, I could, it's very obvious um, at this point in time. But um, I want to talk about uh, X-Men 97 and just how damn good and how... Oh, and I don't, I don't want to spoil anything because I'm sure people haven't seen it yet. Uh, they, well, I'm not going to spoil it either, but yeah, they... This last episode, well, let's put it this way: There's people, and, and I kind of respect the, the, the group of people that I that I be, that I see online, like when it comes to like Facebook and stuff, because nobody's giving it away, but everybody's saying things that like if you know, you know type yeah. shit, which is I mean that's hashtag you know if you know you know, but um, like I posted, I, I was like um, between Shogun. And X Men this week, uh, like I forgot what exactly what I said, but then I was like, I promise I'm not crying. But basically, inside I was fucking. Oh, crying. dude, uh, the, <laughs> the episode of X Men, I was sitting there and I was watching it, and I was like, Hey, what's happening? And then I leaned forward and I was like, What is happening? No, no, no. It, it, there was a whole bunch of shit. Like there was just parts when I was like, Wait, no, wait, wait, huh? Dude. No. Oh, it was it was like that type of shit. And when I let wa- after this episode aired, if you and if like when when I had to watch it twice because there's so much in just that one episode in that thirty minutes, they could have done several episodes just on what happened between all of that shit. It's um, it's a lot to take in. There's a lot of information that I didn't really know about, and I don't know if this is strictly um canon or what if it's. Mean? Well, I, I'm more so talking about the relationship between Rogue and Magneto. Um, um, it is. It, 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 that, that is canon? Yeah, that's... Um, now, you got to remember, uh, uh, some of this source material that they're using has been stuff since we kind of stopped paying attention. Okay. Like, like, we were paying attention in the 90s, maybe early 2000s, but then there was stuff between, between like, two th- late two, or early 2000s up until even now yeah. that we don't know. But that's why New Rockstars comes into... A, uh, um, comes into play because they all kind of go. It, uh, th- this also happened from um, this issue back in blah 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 blah, and it'll talk about. So a lot of the stuff has already been done in comic books. Okay, uh, they have their own little twist to it. All right, um, 
But yeah, they always had a even even the the original cartoon they had kind of a like a because remember then Rogue go over to Magneto for a while. I believe so. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. like so part of that from that like in one of the later issues, um, they had like a more serious relationship. I got you. Um, but then even if you've watched in this one, she's she's like you look uh, like. That was then type shit. Yeah. Like we're this is now, but they still they still have a connection, like you know what I'm saying? And then I just saw like kind of the backstory of how they met and um you know, and you're right, there was a lot to take in with this this uh this one episode. I mean, you get to see, you know, fucking cable who was I was like I was like oh, you yeah, know, I, sorry, I, I was, well we knew he was coming back. Cause it, the the first couple episodes like he already went to he remember he uh, Bishop took him back to yeah, and it was just really cool to see him. And again, just when I walked out of my room after watching this episode, my sister was like, "What's wrong?" And I was like, "Nothing, nothing, nothing." You know, went in the rest. Is, is she watching it? I've been I've been trying to get her to watch it. She's been really obsessed with that show Nine One One lately. Um, uh, I, I mean, you know. Okay, so we don't got to get into detail. I was just wondering if she was watching it or not. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna force her to watch it, even yeah. if she doesn't like it. Um, I don't care. This this one, I think this is something for everybody. Like no matter that that's the the, the thing about X Men that I especially this go around. I've noticed um, there's something for everybody in it, which, and I'm not gonna lie, can, can, like looking, I, I I get it. Like they're slightly newer characters compared to like Iron Man, Superman. Um, and all those guys, not Superman, I meant um, Captain America and all them. Um, but I, I like if you look at a picture, like the drawings and the art of, of these characters. Yeah. Not just in the cartoon, but just in general, because I've been looking for a shirt. I have a sh- an X-Men shirt somewhere, but it's old and like, it doesn't look good anymore. But anyway, the art, they, they just look like cooler characters compared to like the regular old looking the old shit. Yeah, you know no, no, no. And I actually saw they actually have, uh, and I'm probably going to end up buying them. Um, they've got a newer Mattel action figure set for X Men '97. Um, I'm not buying no fucking action figure. I figures. mean, come on, man. You don't want an action figure? No. Where, where, where are you going to put it? Uh, in the house. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. houses uh, are cool. Yeah. T- t- find, hopefully, you find a girl that, that appreciates action figures around the house. I'm going to be alone forever, but it's all right. <laughs> it's fine. It's not a problem. Um, I really liked the episode where Jubilee was in the video game um, and everything was. Uh, I didn't like that episode. You didn't like that? I thought no, it was, I, I don't know, as a fellow, I guess, gamer, uh, no, I got really, I thought it was really cool. I, 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 I First of all, I thought it was, uh, it may come, it may come back around later, but I thought it was a pointless. Um, I thought it was a little filler. Yeah, and I yeah they wanted to add that one guy in the the I forgot his name the 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 producer guy yeah they wanted to add him back in there so every, like they're they're slowly introducing all the characters back in, like villains and stuff back in so I get it but I just didn't I thought that one was a weak one okay. I, that's the that was the weakest of all five so far okay all right I got gotcha, you I got gotcha. you. And um, so, uh, folks, X Men '97. If you have not checked it out, please, please do yourself a favor. If you like cartoons, if you like Marvel, anything of that nature, uh, please, highly, highly recommended by both of us. Um, I want to talk about Fallout, and I know that you've already finished the series, um, but I am pretty much obsessed with it. I would, I'm pretty hooked. The series, on this. yeah, like the first three episodes I watched. And I've never been a big Fallout guy. I've played the games. Well, first, uh, what up, Epic? What up, Londo? I just hey. wanted to say what up. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I've never played the game, um, so I was struggling to try to figure out, like, because like with the last of when the Last of Us came out, I had already played that game. I got you. So like it 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 gave it a little extra something for me, um, and I I hate trying to compare. Like media, mediums, but like I still found myself doing. But the Last of Us did a, a good job of it. Of course, I couldn't tell you whether or not they did a good adaptation of Fallout because I never played Fallout. I got gotcha. you. Um, I thought I think it's an interesting story, um, how they put it together. And I, of course, I went back and did like went on Wikipedia and read the background story of. I was like, oh, okay, so this is this is where the similarities come to. Now, what I'm thinking is. This is a story of someone from 
a different vault. I got you. Than the original. Mm-hmm. So this is just her story or well, a few other people's story just compared to uh from the original it's not the exact original story like The Last of Us. Yeah, was, exactly. They're no. pretty much the the same story. It's uh it's put uh, I guess kind of paraphrased in within that universe. Uh but I think Walter Goggins is insanely talented as the ghoul. Um and just uh well, he's everything. good in everything that he does. Yeah, no, he's got a lot of range, man. I don't think I've ever watched uh, anything. I wouldn't say a lot of range. He always has that country ass accent where Well, he that, yeah, he does he does play a lot of those characters. But and I think it's uh Anna Purnell, if is that correct, who plays Lucy McLean? Yeah. I, I believe so. Um and I just like her quirkiness and and her just walking it up to danger and just be like, Hi, how are you? Yeah. Um and I just think it's uh I just think it's really good, and I'm I'm going to tell you again. I've I've played the games a little bit, uh-huh. um. So even for me, I'm trying to make sure that I'm wrapping my head around all the like with the bottle caps as currency, and it's just the little things. And I just think it's well. Is so that part? Of, is I, that part of the game? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I figured. I mean, they're not just going to have. They're not just going to like do random. Yeah, they're going to keep. I think they're they're keeping it. I don't know, Londa. You play Fallout. Oh, where do I find this Fallout show? It's on Amazon. Amazon I, Prime, yeah. I thought he was a Fallout guy. Oh, man, dude. Fallout is, uh, I'm, I'm really, really liking thought, it. Yeah, Epic, I thought you were a Fallout guy. He's a big Skyrim guy and a Fallout guy, yeah, too. Yeah, I thought he was, I figured that. Um, I don't know about Skyrim, but uh, anyway. They can't, they, they better not. Um, what, do like an Elder Scrolls or something like nah, that? We don't need to see that. No, I, that would be way too difficult That's, to do. We've got opinion. enough Harry Potter bullshit. we got enough fucking... Uh, I like Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, we got enough fucking Game of Thrones type shit. We don't need Skyrim. I don't I'm, even. Know I'm good they, on live action Skyrim, Skyrim, bro. I don't know how they would do it to be honest with you. Because uh, they just such a, like the other ones, like the ones we just mentioned. <sighs> that game is so massive, and there's so much dialogue. I don't. Yeah, know. It doesn't, uh, bro. Adaptations don't have to be massive like the games. Yeah, that's. You true. You said you were sipping on that shit. You're drinking that. Well, the ice melted, so it's like water now. That, that's not how the ice works, bro. Oh. This is, a, look, the, the mad scientist lab is called that for a slightly bit of a reason. Because we're mad, baby. If it, 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 You never did that experiment in school where you put uh, ice and fill the water up to the brim and then the ice comes, but it stays at the same level? Probably the one I remember most of is using different liquids in there, la- like layering. That's on not top the of same it. thing. I know, but I'm talking it's... about volume compared to you're talking about uh, viscosity. Okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No, but um, what should we call it? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess so. It it it's crazy because um, I. You know, I miss. I know we did. Uh, we didn't do a show for about a week. We we had that double header about two weeks ago. So it's just nice to be back down here in the lab with Jared Lee. Yeah, hold on, uh, Londa, got you. Thank you for keeping me updated on the on those. Um, we're trying to. I don't want to have to rush this, but when Sadiq's fight comes on, he's uh the first card on the second or the first fight on the second card. So you might have to keep me up to date because my phone is being used up there right now, so I can't. And RJ doesn't know what to do. When yeah, I, to I don't know what to do. That's why we get. <laughs> that's why this works so well, folks. Um, and so, yeah, if uh, just like uh, Londa was saying, if you guys have don't even know what Fallout is, I think you would kind of. It, it's a little out there. It's very graphic too, dude. Like I mean, what, Fallout. Yeah, oh yeah, well yeah. yeah. I'm well. It should be. I, th- I like. I think they need to stop making all these shows. They should just make them how the artists feel they should be out. Like if they feel that it should be gory, then it should be gory. Yeah. Like, like I can tell you right now, Deadpool would not have worked. The first Deadpool would not have worked if it was not rated R. I think, I don't think it would have done as well as it did if it was, if it was like PG 13. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. Um, same thing with fallout. Yeah. It's, it's very gory. Yeah, the, I was um, like, "Oh my god!" Like in the in the first like twenty minutes, I was like, "What the fuck?" You yeah. know, and it kept going. I was like, "Oh my god!" What episode did you get to? I am through the third one, so I will be starting the fourth one later this so evening. So you're on episode four. Yeah. There's eight episodes total. Yeah. Um, and you know what? I didn't realize. I didn't realize they were releasing the entire series at at that one time. Uh, I thought Amazon it was gonna, does that for everything. 
Uh, I they, don't. They, they said fuck that bullshit. They, plus, Amazon got enough money. They don't give a fuck. Um, they, they don't do that bullshit that some of these other people have started doing. Oh, you just like once a week, and yeah. I mean, I, I'm not mad at it because I am pretty. I'm pretty. I don't want to say overly obsessed with it, but I'm really into it. So I can't wait to finish watching it. And, and we've had this discussion before about what do we like more over the other. Yeah. I think my opinion has changed from before. Like I, I did like it trickling. I think it depends on what it is. Of course, I liked it trickled out, um, but I still like the original Netflix philosophy. Just dump everything yeah. out, um, which I think they actually are still doing. I think Disney Plus and uh, like HBO and all them, yeah. they're they're the ones doing the week by week thing. Yeah, um, but I I I think I I like the 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 full dump. Because the full dump, baby. yeah, <laughs> that might be actually a better title. Um, I like that because there's so much content out there now. I can cut. I can just get through one, so I can move on to the next one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Instead of, but if it wasn't a lot, if it wasn't a lot of shit to watch, then fine. I trickle it out. I'm cool with that. But no, I got. I'm trying to get to the next thing so I yeah. can fucking because there's. I want to make sure I get all this in. You know what I'm saying. All right, and then the last but not least with the, the, the big three that we were discussing, and you're going to be a little disappointed with me, I did not get to the episode in Shogun that How everybody... How dare you? That's the one thing I told you to watch. Dude, I was, I had to make a decision. I honestly thought, oh, hold on, hold on, hear me out, hear me out. You I, made the wrong decision. Well, cl- clearly now that you're telling me, yes. Um, but regardless... Um, now now I, the effectiveness of, of watching two shows that were fucking emotionally... Wrecking is gone. That's why I said watch both. You know what? I'm not gonna get into. It. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm growing. I'm getting older. I'm, yeah, I'm, we're, I'm, we're we're growing. But I wanted you to, without spoiling anything, uh, just kind of elaborate. I can't uh, really elaborate because it's gonna spoil the entire episode. Okay, and then then I apologize. I was like this, this. this. What do you mean this, this, dude? You gotta understand. I, I, told, I, we, I What did we discuss? Oh, on Thursday when I saw you, what did we discuss? You were like, oh, I don't have enough time to watch. I was like, okay, so you were on whatever episode of... What, what? X-Men and then Shogun. Yeah, so X-Men was... No, no, you were on... You were already caught up on X-Men. No, you know, no, no. I watched it Thursday night when I got home after No, 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 no. It. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Okay. You were... For that week, you had been caught up. You were up to four, so there was five. Those are 30-minute episodes. Yeah. And in Shogun, you were behind by two episodes. So we had discussed it's an hour or like basically two hours and a half. So for you to watch Shogun uh, episode four and then, oh no, what is it? Six and seven. Cause this week was seven. Okay. And then X-Men. So I don't know what decisions you had to make. Cause then when we were done talking about that, I was like, "But what about Fallout?" And I thought you're, you, you're not going to get through the entire season. Well, I didn't know that we didn't even dis- we didn't even discuss Fallout. I mean, a minute ago we did, but no, we did at the bar, at the bar. I swear. No, to God, I said did. I had watched it, but never mind. You know what? Never mind. Because my point was, I wanted you to watch those because I wanted you to understand where I was coming from as far as the the emotional part of it. I understand that, dude. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I'm. You know what? Fuck Don't. you, RJ. Fuck you, RJ. Shut up. Oh, my God. Get uh, out of here, dude. Happy birthday, ghost ships. Hey, it's hammer time, baby. At least that'll follow me to the grave. Oh, it, and me? Mm. Relax. Would, no, I'm not relaxing. Oh, my goodness. I will get it caught up. I'll even make my own episode. Anybody watching Shogun in here besides me? Like, I know it's you got to read subtitles and shit, but subtitles are not too bad. Not on that show, no, because it, it goes bef- between Japanese and English quite a bit. Now, let me ask you this. Do you like closed caption? No. Not I, at all. I, we talked about this before. I don't like closed caption because it, it takes away from the the imagery, of, like the actual. Well, because I know you're big on the cinematography, you know, the yeah, yeah. The cinematography and the production and everything. Um, something else happened this week, um, and I know we can elaborate it on a little bit without getting too, too deep into it. Um, O.J. Simpson died, and there's a lot of controversy, obviously, surrounding that gentleman and, uh, you know, the things that transpired, you know, almost 30 years ago. Yeah, somebody said some shit to me. We were just discussing that. Actually, this was Thursday, so we were discussing that whole thing, and I was just being, I don't know. I don't, 
like to think the way people tell you you're supposed to think. Yeah. Uh, I like to think my own thoughts and then figure shit out from there. Yeah, form your own opinion. Yeah, of course. I, I just... And it's not so much just an opinion, and like a lot of times it's just me fucking spitballing. But um, we were talking about it, and somebody said to me, "Oh, you just think that way because you're black," and I'm like, "The fuck? Who the fuck are you to tell me what I'm thinking because of whatever? And and why bring race into it?" And and then they were like, "Oh no, it was a joke. No, it wasn't." <laughs> I, I saw it in your face. I, I know the difference between a fucking joke and a fucking you're being serious, and then you realize that it was not a joke, and then you're like, oh, no, it was a joke. He, he, he. Now, fuck you. That shit wasn't a joke, and it wasn't funny, so fuck off. Yeah. But my well, there was a couple of things, like, going back and forth. But my thing, I, I was thinking about this today, and I was going to do there's this thing going on TikTok where, um, like, say the weird thing. Because other people want to hear it or some shit. And I was going to do it. Like, I stitched it. I would stitch it in. I was like, what if OJ walked in on Ron Goldman killing his wife? So, in a rage, he killed Ron Goldman. And then that's why he had to clean everything up. Because they knew they were going to think it was him. Man, there are so many layers to that story. And we're never going to know. Uh, you know. You know what? You're killing me today. What? Right, go no, ahead. No, no. Nothing. Go ahead. No, 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 dude. No, no, no. Keep going. I, I agree. And then I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you. I'm hearing you. You're, 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 you're giving your idea and your thought process on this. But I think that's a very viable way to think about it. Anybody else have to consider something? Myself? But whatever, whatever. Go. Go ahead. No, but I, I remember watching because I was very young when this occurred. I was probably like five. Okay, so you know the whole famous Bronco chase down the highway and all that stuff. So years ago, I got really into the FX series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. I know it's just, uh, you know, with Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, and everybody. And getting to see the, I guess, uh, in so many, I guess, paraphrasing it, um, seeing it kind of unfold as an adult, it's like, oh, man, it's like, this, this is how this happened, and then it's like, oh, I can see why people think this, but I can see why people think that. Um, so what you're saying, I think, is a very possible. It's, it's very possible that happened. It's very possible. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of people are, like you were saying, you were talking to somebody the other night, they aren't going by the, the decision made by the jury. They're going based upon their you know personal biasness and, and, or whatever. They, it's like, oh, he did it. And it's like, well, he wasn't found guilty in the court of law. Well, and that's that was part of my argument. I was like, in this country, you're proven, you're innocent until proven guilty. He wasn't proven guilty, so why are we? And 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 then we got into the Michael Jackson thing, and my argument was, none of the people who were said to have been whatever said that he did anything to them. Exactly. So. Everybody's like, "Oh no, he still did it." Like, what makes you say that? You there? There's been no definitive proof saying one way or the other. So all you're doing is going off what pretty much the court of public opinion is saying. Of course, you don't know what the fuck really happened, and we'll never know exactly. So, and again, and that's where the whole thing. Oh, you're just saying that because you're black. Like, no, I'm not saying that because of that. I'm saying that because this is these are the facts. These kids said, or now adults, said, no, we never had any fucking issues. But the, the everybody else says, oh, it was because let's tear down the biggest pop star of all time. Yeah, and it's and it's hard because I'm a I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. Uh, well, everybody I, is. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, if you're not, then you're just some. You just don't know good music. You don't know art, like. And good, fine. You want to separate the art from the person? That's cool. You can do that. But again, don't make that your fucking basis of your opinion on someone just because that's what you think it happened. Yeah, and it's hard too, man, um, because we are, we're are we all influenced by each other, you know, especially your opinion. Um, I, don't, and I, I, I get it. We are influenced by each other, but again... 
this is where people, I don't feel like they come up with their own opinions. They don't, they don't look at the evidence and the facts that are, they just decide what this is what it is just because I don't know. I, I don't know. No, I but, know. but you're right. People don't know how to form their own opinion. They want to be the sheep, you know, No, they, they don't want to be, they just are. There's no, I don't think anybody wants to be a sheep. They just, they accept the fact that they already are. All right. Like, I don't think I'm a sheep, but I don't think I'm a wolf. I pr- I'd probably consider myself to be more of, a, not to sound like fucking grandiose, maybe more of a shepherd. The you shepherd, know what I'm saying? Keeping the fucking wolves away from the sheep. Jared Shepard. That's your name. No, that's not my fucking name. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, like, because I fuck with wolves. I love wolves. And I I love sheep, you know what I'm saying? But I love them for different reasons. But I know that if the wolves get anywhere near the sheep, they're going to fuck the sheep up. Yeah. So Actually, that is, now that I think about it, that is a a thing, like, in the whole, uh, uh, like, Military area, like training and all that stuff. Uh, it's, what do they call it? Shep, sheep, uh, sheep dogs or some shit. Like I, that. that that actually now obviously I'm not military by any means, but that sounds correct. Yeah, for some reason something like that. Shepherd dog or whatever. It's something like that. But anyway, basically, it's, what I'm saying is like they they protect the sheep. Yeah, and from the wolves. That's all that is. I guess I don't know. Yeah, and so uh, the the bottom line is is that you know um, it, we're never going to know, uh, especially about uh, the the OJ Simpson thing, and even we briefly talking about Michael Jackson. You know, those are things that people are going to just wonder for the rest of their lives. It's like a theater of the mind kind of thing. Um, but the, the, one of the reasons I brought it up is just because you know, dude, the internet is a very ruthless place, and there are just. Ah, man, there's a lot of nastiness, and, and maybe it is warranted. I do not know. I, you know, I was too young to to care. I guess at the time. Now oh, I'm old enough. No, no, I think now better you're talking about. This is where this came up from. But keep there, going, keep yeah, going. Yeah. So it, it's just, um, it can be hard to to. I don't, I don't want to say decipher. That is not the word I'm looking for. We just don't want to see. The ugly side of people. I'm tired of seeing the ugly side of everybody, dude. Like, oh, like, honestly, well, well, if you're on the internet, that's all you're gonna see. Oh yeah, dude. relax, relax, relax. Okay, relax. so keep uh, going on your thing. Don't. But um, so it if you guys out there, you know, whoever's listening, whoever's watching, you know, if you're old enough to remember when, uh, especially the O.J. Simpson thing happened, um, and watched it transpire live on television, you know, it changed the way uh, the media covered things. I mean, it was a very it was a groundbreaking thing. I don't want to say it's groundbreaking in a positive way. I mean, somebody yeah, died. You said that. Go back to where you were saying. It's just with the, it comes to the ugly side of people because you get on, you get online and obviously it's the internet, but uh, man, it's just super nasty. People are like, yeah, burning fucking hell. And, well, this is what I, I was getting. This is part of what I was getting at um, when it comes to what you're saying, as far as like people just talking shit on the internet. And like, then you have, well, no, I, I know you weren't born yet, Londa, but I was. I I watched the court cases. It, it was on TV every fucking day. But anyway, um, so then this happens, um, and then, like, so you see p- people tweeting, and you're talking about people being online and just saying fucking crazy shit. Yeah. So then this pops up on Twitter. Caitlyn Jenner says, good riddance. Hashtag OJ Simpson. Okay. Now, let's get into this shit. All right. First of all, you bitch. You bitch. You man, bitch. You's a man, bitch. You got away with killing somebody also. Second of all, you used to hang out with this dude. Third of all, one of your daughters might be one of his. Isn't that wild, dude? (laughs) Dude, there's so many And now you're a fucking woman. Get the fuck out of here with your fuck. Get the fuck out. This is the type of shit you like. Everybody's like, why do you think you could just say that some shit on just because of the internet and you think you got some kind of platform? Bitch, go back to throwing some fucking javelins and then you, you, cause you're next, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you hear that. Let them cook. Um, no, but then, uh, honestly, 
And I'm guess. done fucking call that motherfucker a woman because that ain't no fucking woman. No, that's I, a man. When you say shit like that, bro, when you like you calling somebody out of their fucking names and shit, just because I don't know whatever you feel some type of way about them. Like, have respect for people when they when they pass. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how bad. I mean, if they're really, really bad fucking people, they've done some fucked up shit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, OJ probably did do it. I don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Whatever. But to get online, knowing you have a platform, knowing you have a past yourself, who the fuck are you to get on here and say some wild shit? Yeah. No, I 100% agree with that, dude. And, I do. And, and that, that's, that pro- and that's what... It's starting to, when you when you were talking about people being online and saying um, uh, nasty saying shit. Uh, just nasty shit. It's starting to make me think people who say nasty shit are just people trying to get not so much the attention off of them, but say, "Hey, I'm a nasty person, so I'm going to make sure that everybody knows that you're a nasty person." Yeah, if that's all it is. It's like spread it, it, trying to spread that that their ba- own bad energy over to somebody else. Yeah, and. The energy thing is something that I learned a lot about in the last week. Um, no, it's Bruce. I'm done with that shit, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, the guy's name is Bruce. That guy's name is Bruce. Um, we don't care what people do, but this uh, Jared's got a very valid point with this. You got to remember, this guy used to hang out with him. And you got to also remember, before this gigantic There's scandal pictures. Happened, of, I'll find you a picture with him and Nicole and fucking um, Chris Jenner. The... Um, the um, you got to remember, before this gigantic scandal occurred, O.J. Simpson was a well-renowned oh, yeah. NFL star. NFL, uh, he was a movie star. The, the Naked Gun is probably one of our favorite movies. I yeah. love the opening scene where he's just hand on the stove, runs through the door, you know. Um, so, you know, these things completely shape the rest of his life. And it, and if it's his doing, obviously, you know, whatever. But it just shows the, the power that... Uh, that the media has, the 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 the, the people have, and cha- yeah, everybody's just just dogging this guy. And to your credit, Jared, you know somebody passed away. Um, you know wh- whether he did it or not, who you know we we'll never know. But you can't go out and be like, you know what? I'm glad that guy's dead. Why didn't you Why didn't you say that to him when he was fucking here? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's what, yeah, that that's pretty. I, I think that's why I'm the most upset about it is because you didn't have the balls to say nothing while he was here about it. Maybe they did. I don't know. But even if you did, you still didn't say it online yeah, for exactly. the world to see. Like the fuck? You, like, I, I don't even know if it got deleted because that was a few hours after I saw it, that it, that it had happened. I was like, fuck you. You killed somebody and paid the family off because you were drunk. Yeah. And fucking driving too fucking fast. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. It's yeah. like the pot calling the kettle black. And yeah. it's just, it's, it's, I don't know. That, that, that's some, that's, nah, that bitch gets no respect for me. And so. And I keep calling her a bitch because she ain't a fucking bitch. She's a fucking. So whatever. it's, it, there, there's a lot to consume. Uh, but uh, whatever, whatever your guys' opinions are, please always let us know. We, we would love to hear what you guys have to think, what to say, especially oh, they, on. They've been letting us know because I've been putting a couple of shorts out and. They they let us know. Oh, they, they they'll, they'll, they'll let us know. <laughs> I don't read the comments because no nah, fuck that. Yeah, and do you know what it is too, man? We you were talking about energy, dude. People will try to take all their negativity. Like I learned, well, that's exactly what I was saying. Like yeah, yeah. Um, they they'll take their anger, whatever's pissing them off in life, and they they find a reason to project it onto something. They're like, oh, you know what? Fuck you. No, well, that's yeah. exactly what Fuck I was you. just yeah. saying. Yeah, exactly. I literally said that. I know, I know, but I but I'm, <laughs> I'm agreeing with you is, oh. is, is what I was what is what I'm getting at and whatnot. So uh, guys, please just let us know. Like, did he do it? Did he not? Did he? Uh, yeah, know, no, no, we're not we're we're not gonna. That one's a different story too. Yeah. Like, again, and, and I don't know if he did. I don't know if he didn't. Well, and just to go a little further before we, I guess, move on. Uh, with the next topic, um, my mom was watching something. I called, called that one. I knew it was on drugs, but yep. um, my mom was watching this movie last night called Scoop. It was. It's basically about Jeffrey Epstein. And oh. hold on, I, and I'm not going to talk about it very long at all. Um, the only reason I I brought it up is it brought up uh, what is it, Prince uh, or the, the the older gentleman for the? I don't know if it's not Harry. It's the the elderly guy. I can't think of his name right now. But how. He went William, to, I think. Yeah, went to the, you know, the Epstein Island. Well, he's and, the king now. 
No, 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 no. This guy is old as shit. Like, this guy's, like, in his, like, 70s or 80s. Oh, and I know who you're talking He's the one that got, they kicked him out of the... Um, the, the royal family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, but my mom was watching this, and I was actually, the only reason I think my mom was watching it is because my mom's, like, a big fan of the royal family. Which, I don't understand why Americans are so fucking pressed. It was usually, um... <laughs> It's okay, brother. Don't worry. I live here, so I get it. It's usually <laughs> white women, white American women that are fucking pressed about the fucking royal family. I could give a fuck less. Yeah. My, and my, you know what? It's funny. Oh, my God. Everything. Okay, so I was watch, I, I watched this one guy on, on Twitch. Uh, he plays, uh, I don't, I'm not going to name him, um, but he plays a, a character that I like to watch all the time on GTA Roleplay. But he's British, and... He was saying something about, uh, isn't America known for, like, incest or whatever? And I'm like, hold up, bro. Y'all motherfuckers over there. Yeah. <laughs> their entire people who are, like, the flag, not the, the, like, the figureheads of your country are all fucking inbreds. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah, there's parts of the country who do do that. But it ain't near as much as y'all been doing it for fucking centuries. That's a, a Centuries is a long time, folks, yeah, if you like don't know what that fuck? is. Um, no, but, uh, it's funny you do say that, um, because my mom's got like the books, you know, and, you know, and, and, and any special that comes on any special, she's got to sit down and watch it. So I know my mom only watched it because of that, but I got home at the kind of the tail end of it, maybe the last 30, 40 minutes of it. And I'm watching it and it's, it's just a movie. Um, but I, I guess what I'm getting at is, is that, you know, you get to the whole, scandal of Jeffrey Epstein, which is, you know, massive. You're talking about a guy who did horrible, horrible things. And then, Mister, you know, he just hangs himself. He's got 24 hour surveillance, and then the cameras don't work. No, that man was killed by somebody, the government. I don't know, you know. I wouldn't say the government. It was somebody. It was somebody who didn't want him to talk. It, it Which is completely fine. I mean, well. It could have been anybody on that list. It could have been like because the Clintons have been accused of that before, and and it's crazy. And and, I, and my mom never, you know, my mom's old fashioned. You know, the whole conspiracy thing. You know, um, not even that this is a cons- well, it is to a degree, but the fact my mom was watching, she was like, "Wow, this must really be a thing." And I was like, "I was like, I don't think anybody just randomly made this up. Like, it's not like when you talk about flat Earth or or who shot JFK. I mean, there is a huge trail of I guess, quote unquote, evidence about this island, the people that visit it, the, the activities that go on there. And everybody just kind of stopped talking about it. And it's really fucking weird. And I, I don't like that no, at all. Yeah, stop talking about it. It's just one of those things where, I mean, the guy's gone. So nobody's going back to back and forth to the island anymore. So like, what is there to talk about at this point? I guess, man. But, but when you look at the, you know, the, the list, you know, you got... And nothing people. came about that. Everybody was like, who's on the list? Like, well, okay, a bunch of people went there. You didn't prove anything. Yeah, again, and and we'll never know, obviously. Yeah. And so, again, it's just that theater of the mind thing. But I think that shit, out of everything we've talked about on the show... And then even, the chick is in jail, so, like, what, what is there to talk about? It's just, it's just crazy to me, man. Like, you know, we don't really... We think we know, but we don't know. And... We don't know shit. We don't know who did what. We don't know if the government just set these. They, these could be the fall guys. Exactly. You, you don't know. I watch enough, bro. I watch my favorite genre. Your your genre. You like those girly genres, the fucking true crime stuff and shit, stuff like that. I I'm, <laughs> I'm into fucking espionage and spy shit. So like, and CIA shit. So like all that shit. Like trust me, as much as I've seen. And documentaries of any of that shit and shit that had been proven that was conspiracy theories back in the day. Yeah. I, that, I don't put nothing past these motherfuckers, bro. Well, if here, put it this way. If you if you can find me uh, a doc, documentary, or, um, or just something like espionage-wise, send it to me and I'll watch it. Because I want to see it from, you know. I give you one that's kind of based in, in actual history. Um but which is even better, to be honest with, with you. Matt, the Matt Damon one. I think I told you about it before. Is it? Um, is it? Uh, oh, the good something. No, I. I the do Good remember. Shepherd. It's called the Good Shepherd. You know what's crazy? I feel like I have seen that. But I don't was, think you uh, have. You've heard of it. I don't think you saw it. <laughs> and if you haven't, it's been a long time, and you probably forgot it. But anyway, it's based on how the CIA was formed, and it talks about the Bay of Pigs. Um, yeah. 
uh, which was during the Cuban uh, Missile Crisis and all that stuff. Let me ask you, is Alec Baldwin in that movie? Yes, he oh. he plays uh, an FBI agent. Okay, so I did see it, but yes, it's been a long time since yeah, yeah. I have seen it's it. It's a good okay. movie to watch. it, And that's, again, that's kind of the the roots and the beginnings of how the CIA was formed. Um, and, and they even go into the KGB and how they try to, for, like, that's like the early stages of it. Who knows what's happened between then and now and all the shit that goes on. Um, I think there should be a more documentaries, but I don't think they want. Again, CIA is very secretive. Um, there's a couple other ones. There's one with uh, fuck, I can't remember. It, but it was him. He was going through training. I have been Colin Farrell that was in that, but the guy was going through training, and they were up in Langley, and they were up all in D.C. and all that stuff. Anyway, there's a bunch of those type of movies. There was a movie that came out. Oh, man, what is it? Um, God, who was in it? It was Russell Crowe. God, I think it's called State of Play. Um, oh, man, Don't I know can't... that one. But I will give you this. I, there's a new Russell Crowe movie out right now that I watched. I don't know if it's in the theaters or where I but It was on my place where I get things. Um, it's called Sleeping Dogs. And I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's basically about a cop who has is a former detective who has he's begin, he's getting uh, dementia. Okay. Um, and he's going through this uh, like he's done being a cop, but he's going through uh, this kind of like uh, what do they call it? Uh, trial. Uh, surgery, like a, it's like a, a scientific trial thing yeah. to kind of help him get his memory back. He, he's not, I mean, he kind of remembers some stuff, but he doesn't remember a lot of stuff. So, like, the movie basically opens up with him just being done with surgery and trying to navigate his way through life. But then for, so he gets pulled into this old case of his that he's got to figure out. And I'm not going to say any details on how he has to figure it out, but he has to figure out how and what happened with that case. All right. So it, it, I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's a good one. To, Sleeping Dogs, if anybody wants to see it. Yeah, here, it's a pretty check good it out. movie. Um, oh. Yeah, Russell Crowe. Um, the guy from Sons of Manarchy, the, uh I can't remember his name, the, the Irish guy. I know exactly who he is. I don't know his name, dude. Yeah, I, I no. can't. I, I know his name, but I can't remember his name. But anyway, um, he's in it. And he plays, I mean, he's always been a good actor, but, um, yeah, so that's a good movie. Um, then I watched a movie today with Samuel L. Jackson. I mean. Called Damaged. Did he, um, did he say motherfucker in the movie? No. Damn it. Um, I think he's kind of over that. I mean, it's I know I know it's kind of a shtick, but. Yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying at this point, even for people who are just fans. Um. Yeah, so he's in it. Uh, basically, he's kind of similar to that. He's also a detective, uh, um, but he's a forensics or like a homicide detective. Okay. Uh, but he has to go overseas um, to help this other agency figure out because he's so good at figure. He already knows this other case, and it seems related to this case. So he goes over there, and then there's this whole scenario. That's called, That's pretty good. That's called Damaged. Is that on Netflix? I don't know where it is. All right. You, uh, I, I, I know where you got it. Yeah. I know where you got it. Um, let's see. What else? Since we're in the entertainment beaker. Uh, those are only movies that I watch, I believe. Um, watch Invincible. Um, that's a animation from Amazon called uh, Invincible. It's kind of like The Boys, which you still haven't seen. Um but it's is the the cartoon version, and it's not exactly like the boys. It's different. It's it's more of a, a parody on like what the the actual stuff like DC and Marvel. Okay, I got. It. But it's gory, and like people get their heads squished and fucking blood. And who doesn't like a good head squishing? It's kind of uh kind of com- comedic at the same time. Uh, yeah. But there's two seasons of it, and actually, I was for I was gonna post on it, uh, Facebook. You wouldn't know the difference, but um, the guy, the father from Invincible, I was going to be like, who? I forgot his name now. Oh, uh, Optimus? Optimum? 
Omni Man. That's what his name. Um. So like, who's worse, Omni Man or Homelander? And I would I wanted to see who would uh. Say, I, I would still probably put it up, but anyway. Yeah, that's a good a good little watch if anybody wants to watch that. That's on Amazon Invincible. There's something that Shogun uh, episode seven was good this week. You fucked up and watch it. Don't worry, I I will. And yeah, we, it's we, gonna we, be, it's gonna be pointless by the time uh, it won't be because I'm gonna do you a solid year. No, because you're not. You didn't get the hurt that I got this week. It, that's why I'm pissed. Well, we can hug it out. When and the and, I, and to be honest, I don't even think you were that, you're even that hurt about. Uh, Episode 5, uh, X-Men. See, that's how I know you're not a real fucking fan. Dude, I cried with at the end of that episode, okay? No, you, did. no, you didn't. Yes, I did. You don't know me. I used to watch that shit with my father. And if you if you don't think I didn't all shed right. a man tear. Okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, I knew you were going to have to. There you go. Uh, yeah, so I, I was just as upset as you were, if not more. I don't know about more. <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm trying to say it without saying it, but uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, up there, uh, probably before Wolverine. So, yeah, um, no, so, <laughs> no, not yeah. for you, not for you. But well, here, shit. Since we're talking about, no, that, we can't talk no, about uh, it. Yeah, we will. We will. I I know what I'm gonna do for next. We can't week's talk show. about it because people haven't seen it. Yeah, I know, but I know what I'm gonna do for next week. Now, just bringing that idea. Up. Um. I know you didn't want to talk too, too much about this, um, but I thought, it, I guess it was cool, and I actually thought about you the entire time, um, is we had the solar eclipse, um, you know, this oh. past week. And I know it's, you know, it goes by, it's a couple minutes of time. I, it's kind of crazy how fanned out people get by this thing, though. Uh, it's Again, see, this is why... I, you know how I feel about like when everybody's on something. Yeah, I'm off of it. Of course, of course. Um, and this was one of those where everybody was on it. Like, it, it would have been cool if I was in Texas, like because I'm like a month too late by the time I get there this time. But when I like, it would have been cool if I was already there because they got the full joint. Yeah, but yeah, I've seen eclipses before. I actually remember seeing one as a kid. A total eclipse. I, I remember it getting dark. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I remember that as well. I, I have seen uh, one. No, no, no. No, no, no. I, dude, I have definitely seen an eclipse in my You've lifetime. You've seen an eclipse, but you didn't see the one I'm talking about. This okay. was the 80s. You weren't even alive yet. Uh, 88, baby. <sighs> yeah, you anyway. weren't. Well, you might have been alive, but you wouldn't have remembered it. Of course. Um, But I there was one. We were outside playing. I remember we were playing whatever. Um, It was after school, and the shit happened, and it got dark for about five, ten minutes. And then it, the sun came back out, and like at the at the time, I didn't know any better. I was like, "Oh, what, what, what's that?" But then I knew as I got older. I was like, "Oh, that was a fucking ex, uh, uh, solar eclipse." Yeah. And I've seen other ones. Like there was one in 2017 uh, when I was working at Howard. I, I had fucking I was in my office and I fucking poked a hole in the cup and yeah. put it on the, on a piece of paper and I could I took a picture of the fucking because that was only a partial. That was like a. 67 percent we got this one was 80 87 percent but also you can see it through the tree you don't even need that you can see the shadow through the trees um like because the little holes from the leaves yeah will shine that the little uh crescents onto the um onto the ground it's pretty nifty dude honestly yeah. all right um I, I I seen, I've seen enough I don't, I don't need all of them well just because i know you're uh such a big space guy um i was you know obviously out of town and it was pretty big in Philadelphia too, because um, I was I didn't go outside. I, d- I didn't have the proper I guess eyeglasses for it or anything of that There's nature. Other ways you could have done it, but uh, I was kind of preoccupied by the uh, the incredible trip that I had. Um, we might as well get into it uh, because I got some other shit I want to talk. Yeah, about. absolutely. So um, first, first, uh, and I will try not to. T- Bore it the fuck out of everybody? No, absolutely not, dude. Jared, I swear you would have loved it. So uh, I want to first and foremost give a big, big, big shout out to my buddy Sean. uh, Who Who doesn't watch the show? Who took me to the city of brotherly love uh, for about a five-day wrestling extravaganza um, known as WrestleMania. It was their honeymoon, guys. It was the coolest shit I have ever done in my life. I am not going to lie to you. And before I even go any further, I've got three big shout outs to give. 
Uh, first and foremost, our buddy Alex. So, hey, if we ever go to the Sheraton Hotel in, in Philadelphia. Yeah, um, he uh, He's not going to see this either. That's cool, brother. Uh, so <laughs> I'm still giving him a big shout out because okay. he took good care of me and Sean. I want to give a big shout out to my our buddy Eric because, believe it or not, dude, I actually sat down with a psychologist for an hour and a half. While Sean was doing some okay, activities. First of all, that is not your fucking therapist, but go ahead. No, he was he was the nicest guy in the world, and he uh, he picked my brain, and I picked his. It was really really excellent conversation. And then my final, who third, also never see this episode. It's okay. Well, this young lady might know. Uh, shout out to Keely um, because my phone was dying. All right, and you know how my mom is, and we're traveling around all over the place, and we basically. End up at Xfinity Live, which is a gigantic restaurant bar right next to the link and the Wells Fargo Center uh, in Philadelphia. And that lovely young lady was kind enough to charge my phone for me. So my mother didn't think I was dead. And so she gets a super big shout out. Also gave me a beer. Very, very nice young lady. Did you tell her about all your figurines too while you were checking in with your mommy? So you would have loved this young lady because she is a big Star Wars fan. All right. And it'd be cooler if she was a Star Trek fan. Uh, well, we only had so much time to speak to her because we were on the way to a venue for a show. Um, oh, I get it. Uh, go ahead. Go but, ahead. But, 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 a uh, big, big shout out to her uh, just for helping me out and being such a sweetheart All right, in the get process. get to the shits. These people are never watching this. It's okay. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you um, in so many words that I got to live my childhood dream. It was absolutely incredible. I've met almost everybody you could possibly think of under the sun. I mean, there's several people, obviously, I did not meet. I got to meet uh, Ric Flair, um, you know, Booker T. I met Hulk Hogan, dude. Holy shit. That was nuts. I mean, talk about a presence. I asked you all, uh, already. Did he say the N-word? No, no. And I knew everybody was going to um, – <laughs> I, I knew that was going to come up. But it, <laughs> but I will I will say I grew up watching this guy as a fan of wrestling. Whatever he does in his <laughs> – Whatever he does in his personal life is – you know, that's on him. Well, that wasn't personal. That was recorded. Dude, it was recorded. Well, yeah, it was. Yeah, it Without bullshit. his knowledge, but still, it was recorded. But um, what I want to say is, and I got to meet the guy that I really got Bruh. into wrestling Bruh. for. Hold Chill on. the fuck out. Hold on, relax, brother. Hold on. It's only a tad. It's only a tad. Kessler's, please fucking sponsor us. God damn. Yeah, like, this motherfucker drinks fucking a half a gallon on every show. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You drink more than I have. I don't know. Your, your glass is bigger. Volume, yeah, but I, I got 150 milliliters. I started with, including the Coke, I started with Ooh. 250. So yeah, I, I'm glad we have those things. Well, we you don't use them. I'm the only one that's actually part of the mad scientist lab. But I don't, <sighs> yeah, well, I don't know I, what the fuck that skull. Is. I guess the skull could be a part of a mad scientist type. Yeah, thing too. like I, it's like a tiki torch or something like that. Oh whoa, mm. hey, you know what they? His people like tiki torches. No, no, th- those are those are pitchforks and torches. No, um, those were tiki torches. Are they tiki torches? Holy fuck, dude. I had no idea. Anyway. The, the Charlottesville thing? Oh, they were tiki torches. Hey, first of all. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. Hold on. So, first of all, I am not a racist. Um, no, but if you got to say it, then I don't know, bro. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, anyway, anyway. <sighs> it's all right. No, but um, I got to meet Sting, Booker T., the Boogeyman, Kurt Angle, Scott Steiner. I met the Hardy Boys, Trish and Lita. I've got pictures of all this. And I'm sure everybody saw it. Yeah, everybody saw it already. And I want to tell you the most random thing I saw in the entire time I was there was we went to Wale Mania. Wale is a local DC artist who is a big wrestling fan. So for the last, I think, two or three years, he hosts this event. And we were at the Franklin Music Hall in the middle of Philadelphia. Uh, which looks like a giant warehouse filled with wrestling fans. And Hornswoggle, who is a, a short person, basically came out rapping Nelly's Country Grammar. And when I want to tell you that is one of the most random things I've ever seen and how the building was moving when they were all chaining ECW and holy shit at the same time, it was fucking incredible, dude. Uh, everybody we met was nice. Um... I, I cannot begin to tell you how fucking cool this was, dude, and, and I'm going to let you know you're coming with us next year because you would have a fucking blast, dude. We'll see. Um, I'm and, not and, into it like that. Dude, you know what's I, crazy? The only way, is, if it's in Vegas, that would be the only reason I would go, but I, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm as you guys say, which 
Anyway, uh, as you guys would say, a mark out. I'm not going to do all oh, that. Oh, dude, I was marking the fuck out, I, bro. <laughs> it just doesn't do anything for me. Like, it, And I understand that, um, man. I do. Um, like, like, even UFC. Like, I still watch it. Uh, even when I was doing it, like, I wasn't even that hardcore into it. Like, y'all are into that. Yeah. No. I, 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 it's just something I don't understand. Like, yeah, I like to watch it as a kid, but it's not something, like, I can give a fuck about. Like, those people, again, I am under the mindset that these people are human beings. They have, they're, they're not any different than I am. And I don't need that I... To, to feel like I need to worship anybody just because I've seen them on TV. But like, they're... No, and that's understandable, uh, dude. I, I get it. I do. And and tell, and tell I'll tell you, dude, I my fandom has as much of a fan as I am. I, I, I will tell you definitively right now, after going to that event, I am not a fan. I met fans. I met people from Australia, Scotland. Oh, well, I know. There, there's people who are way worse. Uh, like, uh, I, I mean, I met, uh, I met people that were, I met a lot of guys dressed as the Macho Man. Ooh, yeah. Um, and th- well, I mean, it's like cosplay. And people walking around with these big, giant belts. Um, and it, it, was just a, it was just such an incredible experience, something I've dreamed of, of doing as a kid. And the main event was incredible. The whole week was awesome. I mean, I didn't. I have nothing bad to say about that trip other than the train ride from hell on the way back because it took us like seven hours to get home. It was ridiculous. Um, And then up train. And so I just, uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Sean. Thank you so much, brother. Um, And before, before I finish this off, I would like to show everybody that's going to be sitting here, you know, on our table and I'm probably gonna have to make some level of space for it, but Funko pops. A level, I ain't gonna fit it. It's not gonna look good on screen, but go ahead. Well, I'll do it for now, and we can adjust it later. Yep. Um, I mean, it uh, can go over there for now. The I'm not a fun, I'm not a big collector. The only thing I've ever collected in my life is Pokemon cards. You know, video games is one thing, and my Dragon Ball Z collection. Um, so I get to the store, the WWE shop, and I walk in, and I see the Undertaker's Hall of Fame Funko Pop. I'm like, oh man, I gotta have that. Gotta have that, and. They had Kane, Hall of Fame. I was like, oh, Brothers of Destruction? No problem. I even bought this nice Stone Cold sweater. Uh, this is all I bought for myself. Okay, that that was it. Um, and this cost me like 150 bucks too. Not the shirt, but everything. And Sean was kind enough to use his personal meet and greet with The Undertaker to have him sign my Hall of Fame Funko Pop. So I want to take a moment um, and show it to everybody. I know we can't really overly get it on camera. I don't know if that really looks good, but that is a Hall of Fame edition Funko Pop of The Undertaker, which is apparently very rare, this one in my hand, and it is personally signed by the dead man himself. So this is by far the coolest piece of memorabilia or collecting item I don't think that I've ever had. All right. um, so yeah. I'm just going to set that down right there, and we got to have, it's got to be Kane, you know, um, so I'm going to leave these here and we'll adjust them later and all that good stuff. Uh, but out of the entire weekend, this is by far the coolest thing. I, th- you know, everybody knows Taker is my favorite. I was wearing my cowboy hat the whole time. Uh, I would get that case and put, and put that away. Yeah, no, I've already ordered. I don't it. think it should be here. You don't think it should sit here? I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you my reasons after. No, and you know it's crazy. I I also was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Um. But uh, super 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 cool. I just wanted to show that off. Um. Everybody in Philadelphia. I and I can't believe I'm saying this. Everybody was nice, and then I couldn't. I was. I haven't been to Philadelphia since I was probably like nine, ten years old, and I just had a great time, a great experience. The food was great. Um. It was just a blast, man. So, Sean, thank you so much, brother. And when you come back on the show, I know we can probably elaborate. And before I end this story, do you people know what a hell burger is? Let me tell you what a hell burger is. Is it that burger that I had in New York that one time I went and fucking will never go back to New York again because fucking New York sucks? Uh, You know what? The older I get, you're right. New York probably <laughs> does suck. So, you know, we get back to our Airbnb that's hanging above a, uh, uh, that's above an Italian restaurant in the middle of Philly. It was so cool, man. So cool. And so, you know, Sean orders food one night. You know, I'm eating a sandwich and, you know, whatever. He said, hey, man, you want a burger? I was like, sure, sure, I'm sure, you know. So we get, you know, decent-sized burger. 
I take maybe five bites into it. it the, the, Wait, you, you know, ordered it to the to the place? Yeah, we ordered it because it was late at night. We had a door oh, dash okay, to okay, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this was after like a whole day of gotcha, gotcha, know, gotcha. Be, Keep going. being out. And I want to tell you, man, within like eight seconds, I could not feel my gums. Okay, because the fuck they put cocaine in that shit. I have no idea. Whatever buffalo, whatever sauce was on this burger, even Sean could not eat it because me and him both finished half of it. And for about a good thirty-five minutes, you know, I have tears coming out of my eyes. I can't feel my teeth, which is crazy. And and you know, Sean's a big foodie. Londa, so, you're right. Like they 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 just dumb. Oh my god, dude! Whoever eats that on a regular all, basis, why would you order something called a hell burger and have I, I, it delivered? First of all, I didn't know this was ordered. I didn't know we had burgers until it came to the door. Sean was like, "Do you want one?" I was oh. like, "Oh, okay." So, sure. in other words, he was going to eat that shit himself. Well, he he ordered one for me, but well, he nah, he ordered both that, of them for. That's himself. okay, brother. That's okay. <laughs> Did he realize? Oh wait, this is a hell burger. Did he start eating it before he gave you the other one? No, no, no. So he gave me mine. He had his, he sat down, you know, we both kind of started eating it at the same time. And the night before we had a panini, um, with Philly cheese steak and That's banana really pepper. Guys honeymoon. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. So when's, was, when's the wedding? Ah, oh, man, it was just so gay. Anyway, um, <laughs> fucking weirdo. <laughs> Don't call me a weirdo. You motherfuckers are the weirdo. Oh, uh, dude. I was hanging around a bunch of weirdos. It was awesome. I know. Um, what you call it? So we're That's both. Why I don't want to go. So, but the night before we had a panini with Philly cheese steak. Banana peppers, jalapenos, buffalo sauce. And I realized that, you know, Sean likes hot food. And, you know, I don't mind hot food, but I don't like being in pain when I eat. I love me some jalapenos. I don't mind some buffalo sauce or banana peppers. But in a combination of all three, it's it can be pretty potent. And so I was like, damn, man. I was like, this is pretty hot. But when Sean basically put the burger down, he was like, dude, I can't eat this. He said, this is hot as fucking shit. I was like, okay, I'm not a pussy. This is the devil's ball sack juice that's in this well, burger. It's called a hell burger for a reason. Yes, it, exactly. You motherfuckers are dumb. Dude, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> you dude. motherfuckers and are And then dumb. Sean got some in his eye, okay? And then he's... <laughs> like I said, guys, dumb. <laughs> Stupid ass. Dude, it was the funniest shit in the world because we were both kind of just, like, lying there, like, in pain for, like, God only knows a half hour... And Sean is blaming this burger on every global catastrophe in the world. He was like, yeah, this is the burger that caused COVID. Like, this is the burger. You know, oh, my God, dude, I was dying. Jared, I swear to God, if I would have had, um, you know, a microphone, we probably would have had one of the best bits of all time. Let's put it this way. If I do go with you guys, well, first of all, you should have recorded it. You have a microphone. You have a fucking phone. You have an iPhone sitting right next to you. Jesus Christ. Well, I was people. also. Uh, That's what I have to deal with, guys. Nobody. Uh, no fucking outside. Media, nothing. They go to the fucking 40th fucking WrestleMania and don't bring back shit. It's crazy. Brian Scott. I brought it back myself. Thank oh, God. Okay. Um, but uh, all in all, uh, when Sean comes over, we can probably elaborate on the trip a little more and just his version of it. But I'll, I want to say. I'll be over it by then. It's okay. I'm sure everybody else will be too. But I want to say everybody I met was. And I was a little nervous meeting Sting and Hulk Hogan. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, shit, dude. Like, these are the guys I, like, really, really grew up watching. And once I kind of got that out of the way, dude, meeting everybody, everybody was so nice, man. Obviously, they're making, you know, billions of dollars. The only one that I actually give a fuck about that you met, Ronda Rousey. She's the only one that I believe. She was a sweetheart, dude. That's a true American hero right there. Besides Kurt Angle. He's a... Oh, the like, Olympic gold medal. Oh, it's true. Yeah, so, well, it's uh, damn true. Ronda's a bronze medalist. Yeah, no, uh, I know. I think she's a two time bronze medalist. And actually, speaking of that, another judo player, an Olympian, she's a gold medalist. I think two time gold medalist. Uh, Kayla Harrison is fighting tonight, her first fight in the UFC against Holly Holm. So, yeah. All right. It's going to be right. a going to be a dope one or as we like to say in the world of wrestling a good old-fashioned slobber knocker anyway um before i end this story the, um i had a great time uh thanks to everybody uh, to everybody who we met and and the, everybody that took yep, care that. of us all Moving right on. and the undertaker's gong hit and i lost my goddamn mind it was incredible yeah uh, and the rock uh, is doing god's work by the way i just want everybody to know uh, he's going to be gone for a while until... That's okay, dude. Shit. He was yelling at children, and it was incredible. No, I saw that. He didn't really <laughs> yell at that kid. Yeah, thank you, L- Londa said. <laughs> Moving on. 
You just don't get it, and I understand. No, we don't. We yeah, do. We it, do not get it. It was fucking awesome. So, Sean, thank you, brother. I love you. I will personally dig your grave. All right, All right. relax. All God right. damn. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to talk about some shit that's been going on on uh, TikTok lately. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Um. So there's this thing called soft guy era. Oh man, dude. I. No, right. no, 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 no. It, 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 at first, and I don't know if anybody else has heard of it yet, this is a TikTok trend that's kind of going around, it's making its rounds. Um, basically, what it is is guys have started saying, hey, I'm in my soft guy era. I, we're, guys, we are no longer taking women's shit. When they say that oh, they want us to, basically, it's throwing all the stuff that women say about men online yeah. when, when they say, oh, uh, if he don't uh, pick up the tab or we don't go on a, a, a $500 date, the first date, then he ain't good enough for me. Or if he don't work um, or if he don't um, pay all my bills by the fucking third month and blah, blah, blah. So, so it's guys just doing things, saying the same thing that women say. When, it, when it's on that far exaggerated spectrum, but basically throwing it back in their face and just doing it as they would do it, but say the opposite. Cause there's this thing going around. It was uh sprinkle, sprinkle, like oh, the guys should be sprinkling gifts to you. Like sprinkle, sprinkle, like you better be giving me gifts. So the guy's version of that is drizzle, drizzle. Oh, yeah, I like this. So <laughs> this whole thing is going around, but at the same time, chicks are in the fucking, in the comments, like mad and doing stitches back to the like, oh, you just you must be a broke motherfucker because you ain't you if you fucking wants a woman to blah blah blah. They were, they were like, hold up, no, baby girl. Well, so let me let me give you a little example here. Well, while, while Jared's giving pulling up an example, I just want to elaborate for me and Jared. Well, maybe not Jared, but myself. Fuck you, bitches. That's All right, uh, relax. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just teasing. I'm and just he saying. He has permission to talk my ears off. What? No, I, I don't know what you're saying. Um, uh, let, me, let, me, let me set this up. All right, so I just set that part up. Maybe I didn't set it up the best, but I want everybody to kind of see. So this is basically the men clapping back. Pretty much. All right. And and I'm looking forward to but it. But they're, they're, they're mad about it. So just sit back and watch this real quick. Absolutely. All right. I am. Uh... Oh, hold on. I got to fucking... Get the sound. So while Jared's pulling that up, uh, you can catch us anywhere you get your podcasts. That is Apple Music, Spotify, all that good stuff. Every Monday at 9 a.m. for the visual on YouTube. And hey, man, check us out. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Why not? I mean, it, it, it takes two seconds, maybe not even two seconds, to just tap your phone. You're, you're in your phone all day like, like the rest of us. So here, tap that, like us, and you can listen to our voices all the time, every day, forever, until the end of time. The fuck is talking about? Nah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just trying to, you know, I plug mean, in the podcast. Trying to remember how to do this fucking sound on this motherfucker. Give me one but, second. Of course, of course. But keep, keep while, but, but while you're doing that, um, you know, the whole idea of taking somebody out on a big, expensive date the first time, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I've been on some dates in my life, yet, yeah, you know, you know. Um, it's all right. <laughs> fuck you, Jared. <laughs> Very few. But you don't know that. Well, I know that. Nah, well, that's you know that's why I'm over here marking out about you know grown men and thongs. Yeah, exactly. You know? There you go. Does that make you feel better, dude? <laughs> Doesn't make me feel better. You need to make yourself feel better. I I feel great. Um, I can't remember how to fucking. But uh, yeah, dude. I mean, I'm all for an expensive date, dude. But I think people like demanding it from you, like whether it's a man or a woman, that's fucking asinine, dude. Like that's literally. Fucking, that's like narcissism, like, or, or that might not be using the right word, but like, what the fuck? I'm not taking anybody. Entitlement. Word for fi- Entitlement. That's the, that is the correct word. Um, like you, for, you fought for feminism. You got what you wanted. And now you're upset because you want more. Yeah. It's, that's, it's, that's, that's, that's crazy thinking. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just, that's it, woman thinking. It's very silly. Um, oh, the fuck there's a sound on dude, this. Dude, I right, don't on, mind. Give me a second. Yeah, no, no, of course. I don't mind going out to a, a nice restaurant, you know, having a decent meal, chatting it up, maybe an adult beverage or two, and maybe going to the movie. Hey, here, let's go to the bowling alley. You know what I mean? You you got to, and again, this is not everybody. I mean, we're probably kind of 
going based off of social media, but social media is like the, 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 the kingdom nowadays. And we all absorb all that, all that energy that comes from it, right? And it's just, it's so unnecessary, man. I mean, $500 is a lot of money nowadays, man, at least to me personally. Um, so, I mean, you'd have to be buried to be for, or not even married, you'd have to be talking to me for, you know, several, you know, while, um, you know, I don't mind buying somebody a gift. I mean, that's, you know, that's a part of that, you know, whole relationship aspect, but it, demanding it is, is absolutely fucking crazy to me, whether it's a man or a woman. Like, it's like, like, well, if, if a guy pays for the, well, I paid for this $500. So you have to give me some ass, you know? No, 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 that woman doesn't. Or the woman's like, oh, hey, you know, honey, I paid for this. Now you have to, you know, what, what did you say? The, 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 the sprinkle me kind of thing, the, the, the rizzle dizzle or the razzle dazzle. Um, you know, you have to keep giving me gifts slowly because I paid for this. No, 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 the fuck you don't. You know, so it's, um, we live in a day and age where people are just so full of shit and so right. full of themselves. You don't have to keep fucking harping on the same thing. You can talk about something else. Oh, okay, well, I was just <laughs> waiting. For, I figured you'd have it pulled up by now. That's well, why. No, I'm just trying to get the fucking sound to fucking play, and I don't know why I can't. All right, so while Jared is still pulling that up, um, has anybody been playing anything new? Any new games? Um, any new uh, DLC? Is there something that's coming out that you're looking forward to? Uh, cause I've personally, I, I have not yet been on my Xbox since I've returned and I'll probably be doing that in the next day or two. Uh, but what I've been playing, I started playing, uh, the final fantasy seven. I know we talked about that, you know, on the last show. Um, but I am very much looking forward to playing this version. Uh, the, the second one, final fantasy seven rebirth and the third one, which is apparently coming out, uh, God forbid in another like two years. Uh, for the 30th anniversary of Final Fantasy VII. So I'm very much looking forward to playing that, um, getting into some some games that I've uh, truly missed out on. Uh, one in particular is, uh, I think it's Event Dawn Horizon. Um, uh, apparently an incredible, incredible game uh, that I have just been sleeping on um, entirely. Uh, so I would definitely like to get into that. And we are kind of um, getting to that time of year where Memorial Day is coming up. And um, shout out to uh, my buddy JT or DTA Voltron and my buddy Al Peppers or Ali Ice, as we like to call him, because we will be doing the Memorial Day weekend. Rank grind. I'm so excited. I, I'm, I'm very excited. I know Jared's over here like, what the oh fuck, God. dude? Yeah. Um, hey, dude, I, I, I made it, you know, through that. Dude, that was that was a grind. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and. Oh, now that I'm kind of speaking out loud. I think we're going to get Grand Theft Auto 6 early no, in 2025. They, were, they already pushed it back. Oh, they did it already? Okay, okay. So They've they been said that. Did they? They said that um, early this month. or Yeah, it was uh, 2026 they got pushed back to. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't. Oh, my God. Well, that that's okay. I still have a lot of GTA 5 left to play, um, so I'm not really fuck, worried about man. it. Where the fuck is this shit at? Um, and whatnot, and if uh, I don't know if, if you've been on your RP at all lately, or or, nah, or I haven't done none of that shit. I mean, that's cool, man. But uh, you know, hopping on Grand Theft Auto Online and just seeing how much I still have to do is massive because I still got to do a lot of heists. Um, and you're more than welcome to to, to join us, sir, uh, while we do these heists, and we can you know put on some body armor, put on yes. you know some some sort of mask, and and then you know you know shoot people. Fuck you guys. Ah, that's okay. I mean, we haven't played it in a while, so, um, but we do have to get back into it soon. And what I did play, though, did you uh, did you ever play Star Wars uh, Dark Forces? Nope. Um, on PC as a kid? No. No, not at all. Neither did I. My buddy did. Um, and I got to play the, I guess, remastered version of it um, here on my Xbox a few weeks ago. And it just kind of shows, it, ha it has the whole like doom effect to it or not doom effect, but like the, the style of it. Cause it was kind of the wave of how first person shooters were made back in the day. I can't remember how to do this shit. It, it was just really, really, really cool. Um, and, uh, I, I encourage everybody to check it out. Even if you're a younger gamer, um, just to see how far games have come. Um, I mean, obviously they've kind of cleaned the graphics up a little bit and the movement and all that stuff. But how difficult some of these levels can be, dude. You know, video games were kind of not easy, you know, uh, back in the day. I mean, some of the levels I played were 
kind of fucking hard, even for me. And I've beaten some, you know, pretty hard video games, or I'd like to think I have. Um, so please, please check that out if that's something that you guys are into. I don't know why I'm having a hard time trying to find it. I can't find it because I can't concentrate while RJ is fucking talking, but then I don't want to not have you guys hear something at the same time. Yeah. Uh, fuck, this, this whole shit is ruined. Anyway, um, I wanted to see it show a couple of fucking videos of kind of examples of this whole soft guy era shit. Um, like, there's this one, maybe if you guys can at least see the video for it. Um. And I can kind of sum up what it's saying, but this guy, he, he's going out with his. Oh my woman. God, are you serious? He's basically saying, like, oh, I thought dude, uh, she picked me up in a Zonda. She said uh, 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 a Honda, not a Zonda. That girl and came to my house. She didn't even open date, my door for me. To take me, me on a first date she, in a 2013 Zonda. Honda. It's a Honda. And when I asked her so, before like, what car she had, I thought she said Zonda, like Pagani uh, Zonda, a petty, super car. Petty and not like, a 2013 oh, no, four-door Honda. Honda Civic I was or absolutely mortified. But, um, so basically, he just and did the I, opposite. I tried to that. go through with the date, but uh, after two blocks. But then you go to, like, some of the, um, the uh, hold on, some of the comments. And uh, Londa said, oh, you, you can hear it? Oh, well, fuck, I can't hear it. Here, well, me, well, hey, at least something's working, right? Uh, let me play it again, then. Here, let, here, here let so we'll we'll let you guys listen to that. Oh my god, are you serious? The fuck can I? Oh, that I girl came to my house to date to take me on a first date in a 2013 Honda. And when I asked her before what car she had, I thought she said Zonda, like Pagani Zonda, a supercar, not a 2013 four-door Honda. I was absolutely mortified. And I, I tried to go through with the date, but after two blocks, I had her turn around and drop me off. I'm done dating these dusty women, these <laughs> dusty brokies. You know, if you don't have if you don't have a supercar or like a Mercedes, one of those things with the bees on it, don't roll up to my place thinking you're going to take me anywhere. I don't even f I want to find out where she was going to take me. Probably for something free, like a walk. I'm not that <laughs> type of guy. Like, if you're taking me on a first date, you better be taking me to a really nice restaurant where I can get filet and lobster and pasta. <laughs> so, that's like one. Like, so, that that's just like the opposite. So, then it, it comes down to like... um the comments are like you go to the comments and that shit is fucking hilarious. Yeah, you got Let's fucking see if I can even Yeah, here. If, well, well while you're pulling that up and it stinks, man, because I feel like people can't get out of their own way sometimes. Um especially when it comes to the whole dating scene in this day and age which is fucking god awful uh to every degree. Um, and I know everybody out there probably agree, or at least here in the States. I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world. Well, th that Londa said that he was, he said, it seems like the, the tension quote unquote, um, is, is more, um, visible in the United States, which I, I, I think I tend to agree. This is why I like, and these same women who are upset about the drizzle, drizzle movement or whatever. Drizzle, drizzle bitches. <laughs> uh, actually that's going to be the name of the title. Drizzle, drizzle. Here, drizzle, write it drizzle. down, write that bad boy down. Uh, I, the the ones that are most upset about this is uh, there's they're the same ones who are like mad at um at, at the at the re at the at guys doing like call it like passport bros that's another thing have you heard of passport bros that I want to say yes but no so Here. a passport bro is somebody who basically they have a passport they go to a different country to find women who are not westernized yeah if i if i if that no, makes sense no no no, it does it does so it does. it's like instead of they, they're looking for more traditional women like not to say that they want them fucking cooking and cleaning and fucking that's all they want it's just they want a more quote as they say these days traditional woman as opposed to these women who are being like oh i want you to do what we were talking about yeah so the comments on the honda one i, I just picked out a, a, a couple it's not anything crazy but I like the "Do you feel safe?" comment. It's though. like, <laughs> but this is this is but this is the thing. 
these these chicks are taking this shit so seriously. They they're mad and they're like responding like with like, oh, if you guys blah blah blah. I, I should have got some some of, of the hate ones, um, but for the guys, it's just a big ass joke. We're just fucking around. It's not like we're really doing this shit, but the fact that we see that we're triggering these people. We're doing it on per. We're now we're doing it on purpose. So it's like like this is the type of comment you'll see under this shit. It's like, do you feel safe? Yeah. Like, cause this is the t- same type of stuff that they would have. And fine, do you feel safe? Is that's reasonable? Yeah. But then you go to the one right below it. It's like there uh, there is a list of places that are not acceptable of places I will not go on a first date. Yeah. So, I mean, so th- and that's a guy <laughs> saying that. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? I, I, I get it. This is, dude, this might be trolling on the finest level. Oh, oh no. Dude, it's dude, the trolling, trolling of the highest level. level. Yeah, dude. Real. This is really good, dude. And they're um, fucking pissed. So then you got that one, and then uh, same, under the same uh, umbrella, the same uh, video. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. Know your worth, Kings. I like that. With all the clapping hands and the, and the salute. Uh, Give me a second, motherfucker. I know, I know, I know. I'm just, uh, this is cool, though. I'm actually, like, really digging this. I'm actually liking it more than I thought I would. So, yeah, like, at, at, at least you know your worth. It's like, know your worth, kings. It's like, so they, so it's the same shit they would say, but it, instead of queens or queen, it's kings. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, and it stinks, man, because... Do you think this is the whole world, dude? No, or, no, 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 not the whole just world. Said, we no, no, just said, we on, literally just said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You, I think you you be you be talking to you don't listen when we say stuff. No, no, I am listening. What I what I meant to say is, do you think this is a vast majority of the states of of here in the the Western civilization, so to speak? Well, or, it's 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 enough where um, it is causing it for this to be what they're calling an actual movement. Okay. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Like when you see these, these, and, and when you see the, the reactions of the women, how they get upset of like, how dare you blah, blah, blah. It's like, hold up. No, all we're doing is asking for the same, like you guys fought again. This is a U.S. thing. You fought for your rights. You got all your rights. You got, and yeah, it was fucked up. Like, women should have been able to vote for a long time. Women should have been able to do all, they should have been, had the right to work. That's fine. But then, when you get the equality side of it, you want more. And now, you're doing what they, what, I'm trying to say this. Uh, it's all right, brother. Don't worry. This is the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. I'm trying to say this politically correct. Now that you have everything you want, you want more. You're so you're not satisfied for what equal is. You just you you, you want now you, you want everything. Yeah, now you want to be a step above yeah, of not, equality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, which is uh, which I 100 percent agree with what you're saying. But yeah, man, I I think. Uh, but if you think about it too, here, here, like, here, there's another one oh, before uh, before we. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, brother. Uh, go ahead. Oh, major ick today in my soft guy era. So I went to Walmart to buy a new headlamp uh, bulb for my uh, car. I had gone out and I was looking in the manual to see which um, exact bulb I needed. And someone, some woman came up to me and asked me where the car floor mats were. Uh, it's such a major ick I turned and I yelled at her at the top of my voice. Do not approach men in public, you creep. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> Such an ick. All right, that was fucking hilarious, dude. Um, no, well, you didn't hear the whole thing. They heard the whole thing. Uh, but they were, it, basically, he was saying, that, "Oh, it was a major ick that you, you even approached me in public." Like men don't approach women, and, and it, then they'll they'll be again the other side of it. They'll be on, especially on TikTok or wherever. The, um, how come men aren't men and they don't approach women anymore? It's like because you made it. You made it to the point where it's creepy for us to, if we come up to you, it's ew, almost, why, it's, ew, why are you coming over here? It's, it, it's an ick that you fucking chew gum that way. Like, hold up. Yeah. Bitch, dude. what? It's, <laughs> it, dude, so, dude, honestly, dude, it, you could have uh, what I like to call the Riz. Um, but, dude, you, it is damn near impossible to approach some people nowadays 
and even say hello. But what I, I will say this: when I was in, it's everybody, Lon. Everybody. It don't matter who you are. If you got on, if you're in the soft guy era, you're in the soft guy, and not soft boys, soft guy, sir, soft guy. There's um, a difference. I will say, drizzle, this. drizzle, king, drizzle, drizzle. All right, <laughs> hey, dude. Oh man, we're I, we will um, try not to play that. Hold out. On, let me see. Um, no, I you don't. Will. Well, yeah, RJ will not try to play that out. Um, let me get a couple of comments on that one. Let's see the ick one. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> are you okay? I hope you're okay. Still shaking even now. Dude. <laughs> he, he responded just, to this. <laughs> and then somebody said, I'm glad you're safe. Oh my God. Oh, dude. Look at, dude, look at the top comment, dude. Almost five, almost 6,000 likes on that. Yeah, yeah. Dude. That, that's, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Kings. Show your, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show your worth. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, uh, drizzle. All right, all right. Uh, me... There's more, there's more. Oh wait, wait, there's more. Oh yeah, my there's god, definitely more. Uh, hold on, before I, uh, I didn't see. Lazy woman should look for them herself. You're not her customer service. Major ick indeed. Barf face. <laughs> 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 Shout uh, out to Matt, whoever he, <laughs> you know, yeah. who, you know, whoever uh, he is. I don't know what. Uh, hold on, real quick. I don't know. I can't remember which video this came from but there's other comments but th- like there's a bunch of these videos and just the comments that come along with it are fucking hilarious it's i don't read it yet no nah, dude, dude dude i i'm i'm totally into this oh no now. here's this i think this is one of the honda ones uh, from the honda one uh did she at least open the door first don't settle for less king <laughs> yeah that's right yeah i like this <laughs> Yeah, fight. Hey, man, dude. Sometimes you gotta fight fire with fire, brother. Didn't mm-hmm. I mean? And and there's well, that's no- why they're mad about it though, because we're fired. We're like, how dare they fucking use our shit? And I will tell you, I've been in relationships where, like, I, I especially could tell when I, I once I learned what triggered a chick, it would be fun for me to trigger her. Do you know it's crazy? You sound like my dad. Uh, nah, I don't think I don't think that's I mean, I, well, I mean that's not my intention. I'm, yeah, no, no, I maybe it, I that's just a guy in general. Like, like once you get, it's like, all right, fine. You want to be mad? Fine. I, I, I'm. Gonna, it's fun to watch me play with your fucking mind and say, hey, blah, blah whatever. Oh, you're triggered. Okay, gotcha. Keep doing it. You look. You look stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, we got to have our games, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, man. You can't play fucking games with their with our minds and our hearts, and you can't. Hey, man, dude, don't don't throw the first punch if you don't want one back. Well, that's the know. thing. They uh, again, and and I'm not trying to sit out here and bash anybody. But. No, no, we're not, and and we we don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't read it until it comes up. All right, now you can. All read. right, you. You're so brave, King. Drizzle, drizzle. drizzle. Look, there we look go. at the, the fingernails too, with the little paint. Oh, that, that might that might be my favorite one right there, dude. Just because <laughs> it's got the, the best. Nail, for, yeah, yeah, save the best for last. No, and, and, and he's got a Marine Corps <laughs> with a with, with a fucking uh, blue stripe flag oh, right, in the yeah. back. I mean, I don't think there's anything more American than this <laughs> right now. He's a cop, uh, and he's a fucking Marine Corps. Um, no, and, and and to Jared's credit, before we go any further, is we're we do we're not bashing people, but this is this is funny. Yeah, this is funny. This is hilarious, dude. It, there's somebody I, for everybody. I encourage everyone to go out, and if you're on TikTok, I know a lot of people are fucking. They listen to their government too much. Um, they like I I encourage you to go out and look in TikTok and look into the the uh, the soft guy era. It it, it was started, but actually, there's just one really rich dude. And he gets so much hate, and he'll pick the best comments of like chicks will stitch his thing, and they'll they'll be like, "Oh, you must be broke if you can't talk shit." Blah 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 blah. He was like, "Well, actually, uh, these two geodes that I bought right here, these cost one hundred fifty dollars a piece, and blah 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 blah. This that the other thing, and you know what is wrong with blah blah blah. This that the other. And this motherfucker is loaded. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But he's just part of the shit because he's it, the fun of it. Like he could get. And then they were like, I bet you can't get any women. He's got, he, then he pulls up, he pulls up receipts, dog. He's, he's pulling up like, I got this chick co- hollering at me. I got this chick saying she don't want to fucking stop talking to me. I try to tell her to stop talking to me. She keeps co- hitting me up. And this one, and this one, this one, this one, I didn't even respond to. Like, it's like three or four of them he didn't even respond to. So it's like, y'all, y'all, y'all are losing your own game and like, 
we're we're this is what men are good at. Yeah. Men are good at logic and precise thinking. Oh yeah, dude. They're good at emotional that's why they take care of children, they take care of their man, like and everybody wants to say, oh, there shouldn't be gender roles. And I said, well, this, guess what? Biologically, scientifically, the mad scientist lab, this is what the reality is. These are things that are embedded in our DNAs as human being. Yeah. And I said DNAs plural, cause there's more than one DNA. Yeah. Um, but this is a thing like, it, and, and I, I, I was thinking about it. I was like, this is kind of like a gender war type thing. And uh, Jordan Peterson, Dr. Jordan Peterson has talked about this before. Uh, I think he was saying Sweden. Uh, and Londa might know this a little bit, but um, I guess they had created like equality a, a long time ago and um, between the genders or whatever. And there was, I forgot the exact, I can't remember exactly what he said, but basically there is always a gender war when you create equality between yeah. the genders. There's always a gender war, and then th- basically it corrects itself. Yeah. But then sometimes it doesn't. Like, and then that's when the birth rate starts going down, which it slowly has started going down in the United States. Japan's another one. The birth rate is really low. Um, But, and like, what was it like the... <laughs> Like, what is it, like 30% of the population in Japan is, like, above 80? Like, whoa, that's, that's fucking crazy, yeah, dude. it's crazy. It's, it, well, but, they're in the blue zone, too, so. Uh, but still, 30% of your population. I, 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 that might be a number I just pulled out of my ass, oh, but okay, it's, okay. It's, it's pretty high f- right. compared to here. Like, the average age here is, like, fucking 76. Actually, I know that for a fact because they looked it up because OJ lived to be exactly 76, which is the average age in America because we were talking about. Or not, I was watching a podcast and they were talking about how black men don't usually la- or well, mostly black men don't usually live that long. That was kind of a good run. That's why, like, my goal is eighty. Like, that's a good run for a black man in America. To I got you. Deal with all the shit we got to deal with. We got fucking diabetes, fucking high blood pressure, because all that shit again back to DNA. Yeah, it's already embedded in, in your the genetics. System. Yeah. yeah. Um. But that's just, that comes from trauma that's also been put in because you can get trauma can add to your DNA. You can that can be put into DNA and be passed down through generations because those are just uh, basically memory markers, genetic markers that go into your system, and then you can pass them on to your children, and then they pass it on, and they pass it on. So all that trauma that black folks have been dealing with all this time has been passed on down that. That's why our, probably why our fucking age that we live is not to mention less income access to medical. Uh, um, the more money you have, the more access to healthcare you have. Uh, and that's just a proven thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's not a, a black or white thing, but typically people of uh, uh, black, brown, People usually have less access to quality health care. Yeah. Um, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying that white people don't because there are poor white people, but I would say the majority of, well, of I mean, poor people uh, are I mean, in uh, areas of the country that don't get as much money or attention. Yeah, no, and, and you're not wrong, dude. And, you know, with, what you were talking about earlier and, you know, just this whole, this, this movement to kind of just go back to just a tad, tad bit. And I think it kind of rolls into this a little bit is that when you, um, have a system that's designed to kind of make you fail, um, and not that it's been done on purpose, but you know, maybe, um, it's tough, dude. But what I do, re- like, we were just talking about this stuff, and what I realize is at least for, you know, because we do live in the D.C. area, anytime, you know, when you go to Texas or you go to California or even me going up to the other side of Pennsylvania, which I never go to, it's amazing how much nicer people are and how much more understanding people are to certain things and, and things of that nature. And then you can see 
from with, from with with your own eyes the the uh the way of living in those uh areas and how it kind of makes you think about your own hometown it's just like we well, it, we i think we said this before as far as people being nicer um i think what happens it, because any, anywhere I go, same thing. I feel like people are nicer. Um, I don't know if it is a where because we, they know we're not from there, and they just are like, okay, you're not from here. I I want you to feel welcome here. Of course, of course. Uh, I I don't think if you go to New York, I don't think they're gonna they're as welcoming as they would be in say a town. Maybe maybe Philly. I I, I don't know. I haven't been to Philly in a while. So or I ever. I don't. I've never been to Philly. Um, but I know for the, for sure in the South, they're, they're always nice. I've never been, had a negative experience with anyone in the South. Um, now if I lived there, it might be a different story. Yeah, no. And, and I've also thought of the same yes. process as well, but I think for me, just, uh, with this trip that I just did, which is pretty much the real first vacation I've probably had since I was like a kid. Like normally when I take time off, I, I hang around the area. I'm trying to tell your ass. Yeah. And, and Jared, you know, yeah, yeah. Was, please tell everybody how yeah. I was right again. <sighs> I fucking hate you here. If you, if you would like to, you can uh, hate me or you can love me for fucking trying to help you make your life better. All right. Well, no, we're about to be done. You don't need right. no more. Now, then what are you doing? I, <laughs> I haven't had as much as you. Are you sure about that? Yep. Keep going. It, it was really cool, man, and it really did. Um, it really did make me feel better. Um, you know, just because uh, you had to, you got to recharge, man. This, I'm telling you, this fucking area will drain the fuck out of you, dog. And then, matter of fact, I, I fucking when I told somebody recently, uh, probably three weeks ago, I told them maybe four weeks ago now, uh, I told them I, I was going back to Texas this month. Um, and they were like, again, like, yeah, like, <laughs> why not? What the fuck you mean? <laughs> yeah. I can do what the fuck I want. Like, why are you worried about it? Mm -hmm. Um, you'll be worried about it when I fucking, <laughs> when I'm drizzle, drizzling to myself. Uh, yeah, yeah. Drizzle, drizzle, you know, baby. Uh, ho hey, shout out to me. Hopefully I can you know, kill Tony. All right, man. We, we got it coming. Um, no, but I you think know what, you fucking well, hoarding well, all the fucking cans to yourself. Yeah. There's no you you wasted that one. There was only like this much left in it. I just need a splash. Well, then open it up, dude. Oh uh, it's God. okay, brother, dude. That's they're all full down here. Are they? Well, There's a few that are full. They're also old, man. So I, I know. I. Well, my point is, go throw some trash away. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna take the trash out. I don't think you are. Uh, yeah. Any. <laughs> no, but but I also share the same sentiment in terms of like maybe hey if I did live here maybe it would be completely different. But, uh, no, like, no, like, right I, now, no. I would not live in fucking Pittsburgh. I would not live in Pennsylvania, period. Well, it is a uh, weather wise and it's, it's, it's one of those places like you have to grow up in. If, if I had nope. to put it in, I would leave, I would leave immediately. Well, Hey man, you know, hey, my why do you think they all come here? Why do you think the Steeler population is so high? Because they leave that fucking place. And we're just the greatest fucking sports organization in the world. That's not true at all. It is. But it's okay. It's all right. Don't worry. Hate is going to hate. Ain't, you hate nobody, greatness. Oh uh, yeah, it's not you. great. You're not great. Your team is trash. Relax. <sighs> anyway. Um, no, but. Um, but let's, let's bring in Russell Wilson, a guy who hasn't done shit ever. Here, we'll we'll see how that conversation yeah, goes later in the year. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, but I know where it's going. That <laughs> no, but but I have to I have to give Jared his props. Um, you know he's been telling me to get out of town for a while, and honestly, dude, the only reason I was able to get out is because of Sean. So thank you again, man. Um, no, that's not the only reason. But it was um, it was you, it was you hold yourself back because because of lack of discipline. I have a lot of discipline. No, I'm no. the most disciplined man I think you'll ever meet, dude. Right. I'm a martial artist. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> speaking yeah. of that, let's let's wrap this up. All right. So, um, folks, thank you for joining us for another incredible episode of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast, featuring Jared Lee and RJ. Two twenty nine is the exact number, and which is a high number, and it's going to keep climbing and climbing and climbing. Catch us anywhere you get your app. Uh, anywhere you get your podcast, Apple Music, Spotify, all that good stuff. Merch. Merch. Ooh. 
got it. You got to get, get your the, shirts. Get your lead twenty for President twenty twenty four shirts. Is um, I'll, it'll be in the description description on YouTube. Um, yeah. Thank All you, right. Londa. Uh, thank you for staying around. Uh, I didn't get to the last comment, but basically, you were saying what I was saying. Um, yeah, gender is still a thing where it comes to, uh, or I should say, biologically women are more into social studies and uh, men are more into STEM and there are some crossovers, but again, this is just a biological thing. And this is how we're wired as the two genders. Oh, oh God. God forbid. There's oh, only two. Oh, look out. YouTube is going to kill us. Go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. Do it, do it, do it, do it. See you. Uh, see you next week. Um, Londa Epic. Happy birthday, Ghost Chips, again. Happy birthday, Ghost Chips. It's hammer time, baby. And that's the bottom line, because uh, Stone Cold said so. Stop screaming into the microphone. I, I'm sorry. I, I was really feeling it right now. I don't give a fuck. Nah. Um, check us out on YouTube on Monday. Uh, oh, uh, anybody who's around, please uh, check out um, on Tuesday at Shooter's uh, Comedy Open Mic Night. However, that could, that's you know, the last one before I go back to Texas. For this month. Uh, no, actually, no. There's one more this month, but I'll be back by then. But anyway, uh, thank you all for coming out. Yeah. Good see, night. You, see you guys next week. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not what I want to do. Hit you so hard, you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio skulls all day. The merit scientist is glad. The merit scientist is glad. The merit scientist is glad. The merit You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. Exactly. The merit scientist is